Hello and welcome to Plastotech in English. So guys, today I am going to tell you about the heaters that we use in injection molding machine. Heaters plays a vital role in heating up your material, uh, the plastic material which you want to heat in the resin form uh, via pallet form. Uh, so uh, for heating up that we use the uh, heaters. This is the injection unit, the open machine, the naked machine where I am going to show you how uh, the heaters work. So it's an important video guys do uh, like our video share our video and subscribe our channel to get stay notifications and all for each and every video so guys this is the open forja machine so here i'm going to tell you about uh, how the heaters are used and which type of heaters we use especially we use band heaters in injection molding machine why it is called as band heater because uh, it is in the shape of band it's a band like shape so we call it as band heater you can clearly see the heaters are attached over the barrel uh, the barrel that is cylindrical shape the heaters are attached uh, with the barrel uh, along with the thermocouple thermocouple is also known as heat sensing device so heaters commonly used uh, for heating purpose that we all know about that heating up of the material we use the heaters so heaters basically you have to know that heaters are band heaters which we use in injection molding machines heaters are of two type ceramic and mica heaters i'm going to show you uh, both the type of heaters right now i have both the heaters uh, this is the mica heater you can clearly see that it is coated with the mica material and another heater that we have it's a ceramic heater both the heaters are in band shape so they are known as band heaters and now this is the mica heater you can clearly see that uh, commonly we use in the nozzle area in the part of your uh, nozzle we use this type of heater uh, because it's uh, less costlier than ceramic heater and it's very uh, flexible in nature but uh, it's not that much flexible that you can bend it uh, because it's made of a hard metal so guys this is the heater that we use in the nozzle section remember it mostly uh, when the material and all gets accumulated it sometimes gets uh, defected also but we can easily replace this particular uh, mica heater uh, this particular heater is known as mica heater if i am going to press it you can see that uh, I cannot press with the bare hands but if you will press with some other uh, things you can press that heater and now it's ceramic heater you can clearly see that the coating of ceramic over here so this particular heater is called ceramic heater it is used for a uh, higher tendency of heating compared to that particular mica heater so this particular heater is uh, little costlier than uh, your previous heater that i have shown so this particular heater used over the barrel area the main uh, zones of the barrel uh, this particular heating system we use to get the proper get the better heating so this is the ceramic heater guys uh, you can clearly watch uh, this heater now uh, you have seen both the heaters heaters are very important in terms of injection molding so this is the heater and uh, you can clearly see the difference between both the heaters one is your mica heater one is your ceramic heater the major difference is that it is coated with the mica material uh, and this particular is coated with the ceramic so this is called ceramic heater and another is called mica heater both heaters are called as band heaters because they are in the shape of band so we call it as band heaters so you can clearly see uh, both of them uh, and uh, this particular heater help in plasticizing the material the material which uh, plastic material which are in the pallet form when when goes inside the barrel with the help of the reciprocating screw that is in the barrel this heater helps to plasticize the material and uh, with the help of the proper heating you can uh, get a proper result so heaters are very important we have to use the manufacture a proper manufacturing heater instead of buying it from local areas because heaters uh, continuously they run and uh, basically they are used uh, you can see that in the nozzle section our band heater has been used uh, so this also an important thing and we have to give the temperature according to the material uh, the plastic material which we are using uh, what type of material which type of heating we have to give uh, uh, like uh, for example uh, we are using polypropylene so in which 
zones we have to give the heating uh, remember that in the feed zone you have to give the less heating otherwise the problem of brizzing arises all these things you have to know and you can watch how cleanly this type of heaters has been assembled over the machine and uh, after uh, this is an um, assembling model right now it hasn't been assembled yet fully so you can clearly uh, just to show you all these things i have just made this video right now to uh, get so that you people get a proper information uh, that from the machine you all can get so this was the our complete video and we have uh, also created a course of injection molding if you want to uh, just enroll visit our uh, application plastotech uh, and uh, you can just directly enroll and learn more and more so guys uh, I think you people have known about the heaters used in injection molding. So please uh, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon, share our video so that each and everyone can get benefited from this particular video. Thank you guys and have a nice day.